we're working on the left side wheel well today. The bottom section here, as you can see, was absolutely rotted off of this one. So I cut out all the bad metal and uh, I've got a piece of metal here off of the engine bay uh, that I bought and it looks like it's in pretty rough shape but I'll be able to patch those holes up and clean this up faster than I could probably fabricate it. Uh, the bend that's in here and the big flange on the bottom is actually a pretty challenging thing to do. I, I definitely could do it, but uh, faster just to use this one and kind of modify it a little bit. This is the uh, right side here that's still in pretty good shape, so I'm going to use it as sort of a pattern. And uh, you can see it kind of bends in here and uh, the engine bays in the newer cars, I say newer, but the 70s cars and such, uh, the, the engine bay actually went out a little bit wider uh, for one reason or another. Uh, in the end, I'm going to cut this and bring it out so that it matches our engine bay sheet metal from the 60s car. So uh, this profile will have to change a little bit. I've got to put an offset in it uh, so that it will clear this piece underneath on the driver's side there and uh, match this side a little bit. First thing I'm going to do with this guy is uh, cut off this lip around here. Uh, the big part of the lip I want to keep is just where it turns back up again. Uh, the other side doesn't have that lip so I'm going to cut it off to match the other side. It'll just be quick uh, couple minutes with the grinder then I'm going to start filling in these holes also the bend on this corner uh, on the uh, existing one is a lot tighter radius right here and then it's flat against here almost flat so I'm going to flatten this out a little bit increase this radius and try and get it to uh, match what and you can't tell where I'm pointing there's my car so I'm pointing behind me so we'll get it to match the car got the panel clamped up here. You can see I've marked out a spot where I've got to flange the edge there uh, so we can make the seam between the two pieces. Uh, looks like the curve and everything's fitting nice. We're underneath our, oops, underneath our brace there just like the other side here. Uh, can we see that? Yeah, sort of. So, uh, looks like we've got a pretty good fit so far. I'll uh, get the holes filled, get that flange bent, and Scribe it all up, we'll get it uh, welded in. All right, I've got a uh, body dolly here in a couple C clamps just to get it elevated off the bench here and give me a little stability. It's covered in a piece of copper uh, so I'll use this as a backing to weld up these little holes so uh, it'll absorb heat, it'll keep the weld from falling through, just make this job a heck of a lot easier since uh, the parts off the car and I've got it, don't have to use an extra hand to uh, hold the copper back there so that's a little little trick on uh, how to make welding up holes like this just a little bit easier. We're looking at the lower wheel well tacked in here. Uh, as you can see I went ahead and ground all the rust down off the face of the panel because I knew once I got it installed this brace that's sitting here wouldn't let me do that so uh, got it ground down. Hopefully I can get some POR under there. 
uh, and at least get some kind of primer or something before I put it together. Uh, this will all be sitting below the engine deck, so that's going to be the paint that I'm going to use down below there. So, got a little bit more work to do, a little patch there and a little patch down there, and uh, something in the back corner there, I'm not sure. Just have to hack that together. That will be kind of a hack, but uh, moving along. With the hammer over here on the vise, uh, I had my, I don't know what this is, a two-pound beater chucked up with this edge facing up and uh, I had a flange and I was using this hammer to beat that flange against this hard edge here. What that does is stretch the metal. So I've got a piece here that's going to fill our last piece on the wheel well on the uh, engine bay side uh, and it needs to be curved this way and I've already got a flange bent on there so the way to do that is to stretch the flange and uh, that'll add some curve to our panel so I'm going to chuck this guy up again and use that to curl our panel. <laughs>